Welcome back everybody to Funky D Star TV News Time. The headlines. Bye bye to Tunubu's presidential ambition as APC hand picked Yoruba senator as running mate for Malami. <laughs> one Nigeria, one zoo, one nation. <laughs> Malami won't become president of Nigeria. Malami won't become president of Nigeria. Everybody won't become president of Nigeria. In fact, with all these things, when they happen, with all these things, when they happen, Malami never one day condemn anything. Malami not see all this terrorism as a wrong thing. Malami not see, you know even you not know, even they you not know, even know whether they, they kill people in Nigeria. You not know, even know whether Boko Haram and Ansaru and Nahesmi and Nisis they exist in Nigeria. Because now them they control them. Now them they control all those people. Now Malami them be the cabas. You, you know when they say cabas, now them be the cabas. See the way when he holds your right to ransom. Now see the same Malami. See the way when the guy take roll out new. EFCC chairman, Nasty Malami. See the way when he take pursue this guy, when be the former EFCC boss, Mago, Nasty Malami. Now, finally, he won't become president of the country. <laughs> Wonders shall never end in Nigeria. Now that they tell us, see, Bola Tunubu ambition, bye bye to Bola Tunubu. Remember, see, a lot of people don't call Bola Tunubu, go one side. Tell Bola Tunubu, see, make him step low, make him pop low. Say, in body to the heart. Upon all this morning, when he gets, he still he won't become something. Then, when he become president, he will put in wife as they. Senate president. <laughs> oh, then in son, when we say will be governor of Lagos State. So, the kind of politics where they play in Nigeria, now mind blowing politics. And my people, when we reclaim, say, now them be on our leaders, all of them, now fake, fake people. Malami na fake man. So I don't ask Malami before. Maybe I don't forget. Say Malami, eh? Say he go deal with Shawara. He must to deal with Shawara because waiting Shawara talk say Shawara they lie against him. I mean, eh, Sahara reporters. Remember, I don't tell them. I say Sahara reporters na people when you no go fit carry they go anywhere because. Before they handle your kiss, before they bring you out to the public, they know where they don't reach. They know see the whole serious, if a damning evidence, neither the column <laughs> against you. So Malami don't vow saying go do everything humanly possible to sue Shawara, and don't bring out in team to do so whatever that they do person. The today, Malami not go front, he not go back. Meaning say. The whole thing when she were published about Malami, hmm? nah, nothing but 100% true. Malami is a, a big corrupt government officer. And Tanko Mohammed, <laughs> his brother. So you see these people. Nigeria is going nowhere. If we na not stand up, <laughs> we na get a problem. Then they tell us now, see, they don't they tackle Tunubu, they tackle Tunubu, they tackle Tunubu left and right, back and front, corner to corner, bomber to bomber. Today, APC people, they don't hand pick another a Yoruba man against Bola Ahmed Tunubu. When will be Malami's vice president if they become, if they win their kangaroo 2023 election? We go see the person when the brain come out. When the when the man when go go against Jagaban of the whole criminals in Nigeria. So we go take a look, see the name of the person.
the person come from Ogun State and the person a former governor. <laughs> wow. I say one that shall never end in Nigeria. Malami now won't become president. Make we read. Make we see these people. When this man, when they talk, say now, former governor of Ogun State. Sahara reporters learned that apart from both Amushu and Malami being strong allies of President Muhammad Buhari, the party's hopes to play the card of their being relatively young before Nigerians. Power brokers in the All Progressive Congress and the presidency are considering pairing a former governor of Ogun State and serving senator Ibokunle Amoshu to run as vice president with the attorney general of the federation, Abubakar Malami, as the president to succeed Muhammadu. Buhari ahead of 2023. I don't know the Muhammad Buhari when they want to succeed. To succeed the Kabas. Now Kabas they want to succeed. Not be Muhammad Buhari because Buhari don't die a long time. So our reporters learned that apart from both Amoshu and Malami being strong allies of President Muhammad Buhari, the party hopes to play the card of their being relatively young before Nigerians. Top source in the APC stated that by the party's membership revalidation exercise, which will end on March 31st, and the ongoing pro Bamic and Financial Crime Commission, the cabal believe that it, will, it has weakened the influence of former Lagos State Governor. An APC national leader, Bola Ahmed Tunubu Ibokule Amoshu has been penciled down as Malami's running mate. Well, under our party, APC validation exercise is near completion and it effectively takes away the party finally from Bola Ahmed Jagaban Tunubu. His game in the APC is undone as the EFCC is set to hunt him down. Talks about zoning to the south are presently being reconsidered among the governors. You recall Kogi State Governor Bello saying over the weekend that there was nothing like zoning in the APC constitution. Gradually, they, the governors, will make the zoning talk unpopular, a source revealed. Una see the way they kill Nigeria. Una see greedy politicians. When the president Mahamadu Buhari, before he, he, before the man take over the mantle, he don't sing this zoning, 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 zoning. Now, according to Una, Una president Mahamadu Buhari won't go. Suddenly, they not come out saying nothing like the zoning. To cause confusion in the country, to cause anarchy in the country, to cause your problem in that country. Greedy and selfish politicians, self serving politicians. They are just there for their own pocket, not for Nigerian people. They are there for their own pocket, not for Nigerian people. So, the Indigo, I don't tell on now, make on come together with Mazin Namekano. I don't tell on this thing, no. All of them are together. I don't tell on this thing so that Biafra will leave these people, the Yoruba people. May them continue to the APC and PDP. So that they not go there, they wound themselves with terrorism. So, the Ohanes and Rigbo, when they come out every now and then, they talk about this 2023 presidency. Oh, I don't hear this man now, when come comes from Kogi State, the governor of Kogi State, when be Yaya Bello, don't tell him, I see nothing like zoning. All just are call the same thing. APC people, the same thing. I'm not here, they are 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 not here,
it's inside this one Nigeria of a thing. When no see, no go see anything. So earlier they better make one begin to organize. As Malami and Ibokula Moshu, they organize their own. Ona go day they organize on their own. As a PC people and PDP they organize the northern people. Ona go day they organize how on go take leave this fraudland one Nigeria. No, they they talk about twenty twenty three presidency. Now Malami don't take over everything. They now go sit down there. See nobody go sit down there. They continue, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sahara reporters has reported on March 1st that Malami had begun moves to also take a shot at the 2023 presidency, a bid which he planned to heavily fund through the Economic and Financial Crime Commission under the new chairmanship. I don't tell you before saying that the same Malami now rule out the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, what they call EFCC. Now he still pursue the former one be Mago. In fact, today the, the the IG Inspector General of Police Mamadou Adamu don't come up say he go serve until 2024. Say he no go come down again. Before they be tell us say now only three months he go stay there. But now the man don't come and come to tell you say now say he no they come down again. Then on the 2024 he won't help Malami recruit stocks, key people. Everything so that Malami, as a northern man, will become the president of the northern people, not be Nigeria. If they run for Malami, is not running as Nigerian president in the run as northern president. Malami, who has now added the EFCC to his making cows, on the year so had shaved his earlier ambition of contesting the Kirby State governorship election. And is rather eyeing the presidency. That is why the man in go lost that KB state uh, uh, governorship ambition and in go still lost presidency because now greedy man. Now, man, when they pursue two things together, now greedy person, greedy people, now so then they end up and in go lost them because say IPO be mazen and they cannot be from people. Then go leave them alone so that we go see how he won't take through that country. The AGF has upgraded to a presidential campaign. He has abandoned the Kirby State governorship ambition. He said he is too big to contest for governor, having made so much money under the presidency Muhammad Buhari administration. How did they take make money? Nah, by stealing your money. Now the treasury they Malami food. They Malami pan because EFCC that they oversees everything, anything. What I tell uh, the CBN that is final. Nobody they argue. That is final, ladies and gentlemen. So in don't make so much money by looting all your treasury. Now him that they tell you. Now him that they tell you. So they continue. He has been minister for eight years and now he is in charge of the EFCC after putting Bawa. Now him be the new chairman. Okay. His boy, he was desperate to take over the anti craft agency so that he could make more money and determine candidate for the 2023 election. A source close to Malami had revealed to Sarah reporters Malami had been instrumental in the manner the former Aten EFCC chairman Ibrahim Mago was sacked from office after having years of discord with Mago. I don't tell him I said I sack the former. Now I can't put the new one now as part of his grand plot to achieve his 2023 ambition. The AGF had also fought to ensure that President Muhammadu Buhari appointed Bauer despite details investigation including the 40 years old of fraudland arts they tell you that the expert said the man fraudland man when be the new efcc boss agf make sure see the man enter yeah so the presidency whether they run in nigeria na shadowy presidency no president in the power there, in the seat of power. 
nobody did that. All this way they tell you, you say, uh, you have back of Muhammadu Buhari, uh, because of Muhammadu Buhari, no President Muhammadu Buhari, everything that he do in Nigeria is nonsensical. Nonsensical. With people, when they claim, say, they be professors, they be this, they be that, and we are, we are yet to see any professor in Nigeria. We are yet to see any son in Nigeria. We are yet to see any senator in Nigeria. We are yet to see nobody in that country. Look, all on our noise, make on a quiet. Now, noise all of them they make. Sahara reporters had two weeks ago reported that a 13 page investigation reported by the FEFCC, which indicated Bawa, who was then the Port Harcourt zona head, was forwarded to President Muhammadu Buhari in 2019, but the president failed to read or act upon it. President, not the president, not the forget the president, the president. Who is the president? Not the Kabaz, not them, them, not Malami, them, not them be your president. It had been exposed that. The report was forwarded to the president's office, but the AGF influenced how it was done and not acted upon by President Muhammadu Buhari. Reporters, Sahara reporters had also on March 4th reported that Kabaz and Asurok succeeded in caging Vice President Yemi Osimanjo through the probe of a former chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue. <laughs> Oh my God! Tunde Fowler, both of whom are grandson to Tunubu, the Cajun of the Vice President Yemi Osibanjo, the former FAS Chairman's probe, and the EFCC probe of Tunubu was to let the APC leader abandon his 2023 presidential ambition for the candidate anointed by President Muhammadu Buhari. The top sources in the presidency had revealed that the cabal would intensify its probe of Tunubu and his godsons to force the APC chieftain to abandon the presidency race before the end of 2021. Sahara reporters have stated that one of the masterminds of the several probes around Tunubu and his ally is AGF Malami, Attorney General of the Federation, who himself is desperate for the 2023 presidency. <laughs> Brother, now don't hear you. Northern has not come again on Malami now, and the Ibokule Amoshu. And then won't become Nigerian presidency now, not be president too. <laughs> presidency now, we record them. So, I don't tell on her. Say, Malami becoming now just for him to be the northern president. Now, the thing where they fight for, not be Nigerian president. Because you know, go tell me, see, all this thing when APC them don't fail, including PDP, they don't fail. Then 2023, this crazy mean will still come back to become what? Are you kidding me? I've been Nigerian people that know they see what did happen. I've been AGF not there inside this APC when all these things they happen. We don't know here when AGF can con condemn anything. I've been Boko Lam emotion all day in state when all these things they happen. We don't hear them, including the Balatunubu. On a gato rise up. Because like Malami now, see what thing happened today. About the Wakili Yakili, where I be Wakili Shakili, where they don't where they catch now. Ma, no, you know, go past Malami when arrest those uh, OPC people. So he made them bring them to Abuja. How AGF go they arrest people or they call police, made them transfer people from Oyo State to Abuja. Because then they tell us now, one Muhammad Buhari aids when we never know. But you know, go past the AGF because the AGF they in support of this terrorism when they happen in Nigeria. All of them they inside when they sponsor all these terrorist people in Nigeria. So to Bola Ahmed Tunubu, the Jagaban of the whole criminals in Nigeria, we don't want you. Now that they talk, say they want to intensify the probe so that Bola Tunubu go dump 
his ambition of 2023 president. So, ladies and gentlemen, when I don't hear everything when I hear, we go stop. You. Uh -huh. If you get anything on, come tell us. Make you come tell us. So, uh -huh. come to our comment section. No key time. You know, anything where you get from mine, come here now. We did here. They wait for Ona comment. One love, everybody. I'll see you guys next time. Please, before you stand up there, make sure you press that subscription button. Bye, everybody. I'll see you guys next time. One love from Canada.